February 1777. The Continental Army settles into winter encampments at Morristown, New Jersey. Hard-won victories at Trenton and Princeton have turned the tide of war in their favor. But General Washington now faces an enemy more dangerous than any British soldier. In that day and age, it was normal that armies lost more men to disease than they did to battle. And the worst of the worst was smallpox. Now, when the Revolutionary War begins, this is an extremely unsettling event. You have American soldiers being called from all the 13 colonies. So all of a sudden, you have these people who have lived either in tiny cities or in farms, and they're all together in camps by the thousands. So the infection rates from smallpox suddenly start spiking. Inoculation is risky. Live smallpox virus is rubbed into an open wound. Washington knows a small percentage of his men will die from the procedure. But without it, he could lose most of them. And he has to keep it secret from the British. Because the British learn that one third of the American army is not effective because they're recovering from their inoculations. They might try a winter attack. So this all has to be done on the slide, all has to be done quietly. It's a huge feat of organization. And the result of it is that the Continental forces under Washington are safe from this terrible disease.